Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to my let's play of Democracy Free, uh, where this time after, well we got deported to Australia after our first attempt in the UK and we got, uh, well, we did so well in Australia, uh, the EU has shipped us over to Portugal, uh, where we're going to be playing a mod that was made by uh, Mr. Coaster, uh, ladies and gentlemen, I'll be, uh, my YouTube channel and the Twitch chat will know him, um, he's in it on a regular basis. And he's made this mod, and it's apparently representing Portugal as it was during the riots in 2013, I believe. So it sounds like it should be hard. Oh, go away, Manny Cam. Uh, so basically, we've been shipped in by the EU to fix Portugal after our tremendous efforts in Australia. Yeah, I don't know how well this is going to go, uh, but let's play. I'm expecting lots and lots of red dots. Of course, we'll leave these just the same as they were, because this is how um, you know, Mr. Coaster has made them. N no hurricanes, no earthquakes, no compulsory revoking, no monarchy, uh, no limit to the number of terms, four-year terms, liberalism, socialism, difficulty. A lot of political apathy. Okay, that um, so no one's going to vote. If no one votes, I might be okay. <laughs> just, just let me cast one vote. And yeah, you know, one vote, and that's all we need. My vote. Come on. Oh, click to return to government. Why do I always get Oh, yes. This does look quite bad. <laughs> uh, welcome to your new job as president. Uh, the lives of 10,486,000 citizens are now in your hands. As you will imagine, there are another situations and concerns that you will need to deal with as soon as possible, while keeping an eye on the long-term improvement of your citizens' quality of life. Plus, don't forget that you are forced... You face re-elections in four years, so you need to monitor opinion as well. Our GDP is in the tank. Our health is terrible. Our education is middling. Our poverty is... It's not red, but it's, I'd say it's quite high. Our crime is maxed. Like, completely maxed out crime. And unemployment... Does, it, does that mean, like, only 5% of the population is working? Whoa, look at all these red dots. <laughs> What are you? I haven't seen you before. Inner city riots. Oh, and just like kicked in. Um, homelessness. What? Homelessness is maxed out. Nobody has a home? Really? Nobody has a home. <laughs> Holy cow. A technological backwater, I guess. That's the less of our concerns at the moment. Pollution, that's sort of fine. Dis Actually, no. GDP is so bad and yet pollution is still so high. An uncompetitive economy. Right. Um, oh, and uh, everyone is overweight. Asthma epidemic, yeah, we expect that. Vigilante mobs. Alcohol abuse, uh, we'll forgo the alcohol abuse fixing for the moment. Street gangs. Ghettos. Organised crime. Right. I would love to say... Oh, look at my popularity. 1.95% <laughs> of the population. Uh, you can no longer see or hear the stream. Okay, uh, ladies and gentlemen of YouTube will be wondering what the hell is going on there, but... It looks to me like it's still up there, it's map pack. I'm still seeing the stream, so let me just quickly message you in the chat. It's still up for me. Try out refresh. Okay, hopefully that will get you sorted out there, mate. Uh, in the meantime... Oh, back, don't worry. Don't know what happened. Okay, yeah. <laughs> Our vast virus database has been updated. Oh, nice to know, but go away, Avast. And when did you change your voice? You sound different now. But yeah, only 1.95% of the population would vote for us. Oh, 100% of Patriots vote for us. And 100% of everyone. Oh no, that's what... Oh no, 100% of people are Patriots and 100% of people are everyone. So we need to make the Patriots like us. Um, farmers are quite a large group. But I think 
Like, we have to fix crime, and we have to... Oh, we have a deficit as well. Oh, no, we have a surplus. So we've got 8 billion monies coming in. But yet... Okay, well, let's see. First things first. Law and order. Is, is that you? Are you the police department? Police force, yeah. Max it out. Um, let's see. What are you? Where's community policing? Right, CCTV cameras. Max out. We're going to have to go a bit of police state on here to fix things out, I think. We've got four years to try and do something. It's general crime. Right, let's have a look for some new policies. In law and order. Community policing. Yep. Let's implement you. So these vigilante mobs that we currently have yeah, that are illegal, what we're going to do is we're going to create a department which is community policing and put them to work doing that. Hey, I'm, I'm really surprised community policing doesn't affect vigilante mobs. Surely the vigilante mobs just get turned into the community police. Uh, tasers. Lovely, yeah. Give everybody tasers. Handgun laws. Patriots hate violent crime. Uh, no, let's, yeah, let's not do that then. We have eight more points. Is there anything we could implement that looks good? National Armed Forces Week would make the Patriots like me. It doesn't cost too much. You see a distinct lack of taxes. Oh. Witness Protection Program. Okay. Introduction cost, political capital, two to eight. I think I can implement both of these. Violent crime and organized crime down. Uh, can I get the National Armed Forces Day as well? A week, yep. 99% of people want this, so let's try and make the Patriots like me. I think that's how I can get back in. Distinct. Oh, yeah, there's not that much in tax. There's a income tax. There's an inheritance tax. Property tax. Corporate tax, petrol, and sales. But we're still making it a surplus. That's our first term. Actually, we have four more points. There must be something I can do with these four points to help um, sort us out. That's, gonna, that's not a uh, priority right now. School funding would be state schools. That's 18 to raise. Well, that would get more people in jobs, which I think would be nice. State health service costs too much to raise, but we're going to have to try and put that up because our health is terrible as well. Um, our income is mainly from the income tax. Our expenditure is primarily state pensions. Military spending, actually, that's usually quite cheap to put up nine. But we're going to be maxing that out because the only way we're getting through this election is if patriots love us. And I'm already you know, a, a, a British person who's been president of Australia who's been brought here. So, um, oh, Prime Minister of Australia, my apologies. Um, so, they're probably not going to like me all that much. Okay. Actually, is it worthwhile doing a reshuffle? I don't have the capital, but we might do that next turn, get a bit more per time. Uh, next turn. Fund the arts. That'll fix everything. Fund the arts, yes. Okay, apparently so far we've made no change. Debt protection laws... Um, Limit them. Polls suggest the government is not popular amongst citizens. Only 0% of them intend to vote for you in the next election. 0%! Uh, international credit rating agencies has rated our government at a B. This is a bad sign. Okay, security briefing. Okay, so conservatives are liking me a bit more. But... Okay, these are starting to be affected. That's good. And we have 29 points. Is that enough to put up state schools? Yes. I think crime, we need to let it tick in a bit and that should work. In the meantime, we need to be looking at you know, ways of getting re-elected. And I think actually, military spending all the way up. It's not very popular with the voters, which surprises me. Oh, 26 billion. Uh, confirm using... No, cancel. 
Ah, we have a 7 billion surplus. I thought that was a lot, but if we go to military spending, it's sod all. Um, state schools. How much is it to put you up? 17 to 31. So we probably couldn't even do that. Cancel again. How about state health? No, that goes up even a lot more. And if I do them, I really want to uh, you know, maximise them as much as I can. What are you? A witness protection program, yeah. Uh, Inner City Riots, I'm going to have dealt with them in the first term. <laughs> yeah, screw you, rioters. Uh, vigilante mobs, uh, going to take a bit more to tick in, but there's still some. Police force is still ticking up, so hopefully that'll take it down. Crime itself is a huge uh, impactor of that. Ghettos are, yeah, they're going to be here to stay, I think. Organised crime hasn't ticked in. Intelligence services, then. Spend an extra two billion. Liberals hate it. Crime hates it. Organised crime goes down. Patriots love it. Apply. How are we looking with the Patriots? Because they're 100% of the population. I care about their happiness. They don't like that we're not spending that much on military spending, and they don't like foreign aid. It's hardly any money. But let's keep the Patriots happy and we'll lower foreign aid. Um, so we're going to play to the Patriots, I believe. Um, National Armed Forces Week is ticking in. And it's going to increase Patriots membership, which isn't really a thing because it's already maxed. Uh, state pensions. It's killing private pensions. It's... Helping poverty. Capitalists don't like it. How much does it cost? 26 million. I can't lower it at the minute anyway, but I think that's what we might do. We might get rid of state pensions and spend lots and lots of money on... Um, lots and lots of money on the military and schools instead. You know, the idea is that we'll give them jobs to start with and they can save for their own pension. We have six political capitalists. Is there anything shiny that we could introduce? Uh, telecommuting initiative. Yes, let's implement you because you cost sod all. Trade unionists and parents like it. Car usage goes down. It's just a good thing in general, I would say. Bicycle subsidies. No. Anything that people will like. Well, they, they don't like that. I thought they would. A more patriotic country than the guest, uh, than the states, yeah, apparently. I think it might be because it's a time of crisis that lots of people um, will, you know, be swinging towards being patriots and, you know, in defence of their country. Could be wrong, but I'm thinking that's... Now, these aren't particularly things which... people want, but I thought it would have been, you know, just something that's going to be good to spend the last bit of capital on. And they don't really cost anything. Let's go next turn. Have I made any changes whatsoever yet? Click to return to government. I really wish I didn't do that. Okay, we've got extreme nationalism. <laughs> uh, inner city riots have ended. Ban alcohol adverts. Um, approve the ban. 5% of the people are going to vote for me now, which is good. That's up from 0%. Uh, we need to reshuffle the cabinet because they're not happy. Yep, that's fine. Uh, we need a foreign affairs minister. So somebody who likes foreign affair policy. And 4.7 foreign affairs. 4.8, you don't want foreign affairs though. 4.3, yeah, that's so 4.7. Foreign policy. The welfare, let's see. 3.5 welfare. Nope, nope. 
2 point something. 4.4, that's a new high for welfare. Yeah, 4.4, ladies. Um, blokes got it. No experience, but he gives us lots of capital. Uh, economy. Uh, 4.3. 4.5. Four point eight. Yeah, four point eight guy, you've got the job. Hire. Uh, guy who wants to work on taxes. Uh, four point three. Four point three again. Okay, wait for this guy up here. Uh, excuse me. I just had to sneeze. Public services. 4.5. Yeah, that's him. Or her. Could be a very effeminate man, but I think it's a her. Law and order. 2.7. 3.8. Uh, 4.3. Yeah, 4.3 guy, you've got it. And a Minister of Transport. 3.8. I always get a bad one for transport because it's just a case of who's left. 3.9, there we go. That is our new cabinet, guys. Um, we have 14 points and we should be able to get up to a maximum of 48 and So we could actually save up everything next turn and get like a huge amount And I think That's what we're gonna do Oh, uh, extreme patriotism <laughs> It went from just underneath the stop trigger to maxed out completely Poverty, unemployment, yes. That's why. It's not just that I uh, increase the Patriots. I think that was just ticking in. Vigilante mobs is not being affected. And again, street gangs is what's causing it a lot as well. So hopefully they're going down. Community policing is ticking in. Yeah. Is there anything else that we could do to decrease it? Get rid of poverty and unemployment. We're going to skip a term and get like close to our maximum amount of... Uh, monies, a superhero. Crime and violent crimes down. Credit rating downgraded again. Uh, polls six percent, so it's still improving. Uh, that seems good to me. And crime's actually coming down. Uh, we have forty-four political capital. Our surplus is basically gone. Right, we'll fix the monetary reasons afterwards. <laughs> Hello to the two quiet people in here. Uh, it's Matt Peck. Uh, feel free to encourage people to talk. <laughs> uh, I need... to get people to vote for me. Oh, don't have enough. 18 to raise. How much do I have? 17. Oh, for Cressic, I'm one point away. Um... You know, get people in work, get poverty down, get unemployment down, and then we will... I mean, what sort of income tax are we looking at? 26%. That's actually not terribly high. With 18, can I bring in any new taxes? A recreational drug tax. Doesn't get us anything. Uh, enterprise investment scheme, junk food tax... Could introduce a capital gains tax. Again, I know that the guy who made the game is... <laughs> Aww. Uh, ladies and gentlemen of the chat, if you want to message something, it's Matt Pack. He's feeling lonely in the chat, so he's um, asked you know, if you could please talk to him. <laughs> ladies and gentlemen of YouTube, leave, leave comments in support of him. You know, if the Twitch chat ain't going to talk to him, ladies and gentlemen of YouTube, please you know, leave, leave a comment or two for him. <laughs> uh, but we get... Because he likes micro-generation, I'm pretty sure it's overpowered in the game. 
I, I, I trust him to be generally unbiased, but yeah, it, some things have got to come through. All right, we'll do the healthcare next time. Let's return to government. GDP is still crap. Crime is coming down. Unemployment is still stuck. Vigilante mobs has ended. A UN ambassador. Uh, let's go for the liberal because we already have a... You know, Patriots love us already, so that's fine. Alright, so... Let's increase the health service. Yeah, we've now got a deficit greater than what our um, yeah, budget was before. It costs 30 to raise it. I like how it costs less to give in to the evolutionists. Uh, the two people in the chat might actually... One of them's me, remember, so... Like 18 power to spend. I think what we're going to do is skip another turn. How are we looking on street gangs? That's almost ticked away. Well, it's not, but it's ticking down. Uh, there's got to be something else to introduce, though, to help fix crime. Okay, communities, legal aid. Police drones, how much do you cost? Four billion. No, we don't have the money for that. Um, any way of making money with the little bits that we have? Not without doing capital gains, and I don't feel like doing that just yet. Pollution controls, recycling, small business grants, tax shelter. Business startup campaign, trade union day, city farms. Eco home regulations, nobody wants it. Welfare, we really, really, really don't have the money to do welfare things. Import tariff, it's going to make basically nothing. Nobody wants a diplomatic service or a tourism campaign, so we're just going to go for another turn, see what happens. <laughs> I believe it's Doc Mac and he was here. Oh, anyway. Uh, an ethnic plot. Oh, that's nice. Uh, our latest um, security reports indicate a growing threat from among the extremist organizations known as the Black Power Group. Uh, well, ladies and gentlemen, on that note, we're fixing unemployment, crime is coming down, and um, that's all the time I have for today. So as always, I'd like to thank you for watching. Unfortunately, I'm going to have to say goodbye. Goodbye.